Math 8 Review 3. So this is your Wednesday assignment, which is independent. So it's review and you can work at your own pace. Here are the instructions from Google Classroom. Substitution, level 3. Write down both equations. Use arrows to show sequence. Do not skip steps. Box final answer. And this is the same thing as yesterday's homework assignment, except instead of level 2, it is now level 3. So let's write down both equations. x plus 7y is equal to negative 47. Underneath that we have 4y minus 1 is equal to x. And the goal with substitution is to look for the variable that's isolated. So in this second equation I do have x isolated which means that x is equal to this whole value right here. And when this single variable, this x is equal to that, that means I can take 4y minus 1 and I can substitute it in place of wherever the x is in the other equation. So I'm just going to draw an arrow and I'm going to take this top equation and I'm going to put 8 parentheses. Now here's the deal. I have to fit 4y minus 1 in here so I want to give myself a little bit of room. So I've got 8 parentheses, 4y minus 1, close the parentheses and then rewrite the rest of the equation. Plus 7y is equal to negative 47. After that, we are going to distribute here, and that's a positive 8, and here to remove the parentheses. So 8 and times 4y, that's going to result in 32y. 8 and times negative 1 is negative 8, plus 7y is equal to negative 47. I will circle, or you could underline or box, or put a triangle, or something like that. But these two terms, because they're variable terms, I'm going to take a moment to combine those together. So 32y and 7y is going to result in 39y. Let's bring down the negative 8, and it should be equal to a negative 47. To isolate the 39y on the left, I'll remove this constant term of negative 8, by adding 8 on both sides of the equation. So those will cancel, which means that the left side of the equation is 39y, and then negative 47 plus 8 results in a negative 39, which is nice because to get rid of this, multiply um, 39 times y. I'll divide by 39 on both sides, which makes my division on the right side really easy. So just to remember, 39 over 39 reduces to the number 1. 1 times y is y, and then negative 39 divided by positive 39 is negative 1. Now that we know what, that our y value is equal to a negative 1, we will substitute negative 1 in for y in the first equation or in the second equation, but like yesterday's videos, go back to the equation that you started with. So in other words, I will substitute right here I will get rid of that y, and in its place I will put negative 1, because negative 1 is the same as y, it's equal to it. And then using blue, I'm just going to rewrite it over here. So I have 4 parentheses, in goes negative 1, minus 1 is equal to x. So that's really 4 times negative 1 minus 4, but we have to multiply first. So 4 times negative 1 is negative 4, bring down the negative 1, bring down the equal, bring down the x, and then negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 is equal to x. We have our x value, we have our y value, we can go ahead and write it as an ordered pair. Negative 5 comma negative 1, and let's box our final answer. And just remember that your x value always comes first, just by way of quick review, because x comes before y alphabetically, that's why we do it algebraically as well. So let's check to make sure that we got this one right. And we can put a negative 5, comma, negative 1. And again, although it would be a lot more work, you could check this by substituting negative 5 for x in both equations, and then putting a negative 1 in for y, and then just evaluate. Just work out the equation. If you get two true statements in which it works, you know for a fact you have the correct answer. We got this. Um, let's try one more problem together.
Okay, so the second one. So let's uh, write down our equations. I always start with that. So I've got y equals negative 7x plus 10. Underneath that, we have 3x plus 2y is equal to 9. I apologize, my equal signs aren't lined up, but it probably it's not going to make a difference. So who cares? Okay, so the goal when we're dealing with substitution is find a variable that's isolated. To me, it looks like we isolated y in the first one, and I actually chose this one because in the last one we had x isolated. So why not have one where y is isolated? y is equal to this whole quantity over here, which means that if y is equal to this, then wherever y is in the second equation, I can actually get rid of that y and put in negative 7x plus 10. And you know what? I'll just write a bow over here. So I've got 3x plus 2, parentheses, negative 7x plus 10 is equal to 9. Similar to the last question, we'll distribute this 2. Again, watch out if, it's a ne if it was a subtract 2, you distributed negative 2. So make sure you take the sign with it. So that's going to be 2 uh, times negative 7, which is negative 14x. So 2 times negative 7x is ne negative 14x. And then 2 times uh, 10, that's going to result in 20. And then just bring everything else down. Bring down the 3x. Okay. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine my x terms together. So 3x minus 14x is negative 11x plus 20 is equal to 9. And then I will subtract 20 on each side. Those cancel. So I have negative 11x is equal to, let's see, 9 minus 20. That's going to give me negative 11, which is nice because when I divide by this negative 11 times x, the way to get rid of multiply is to divide by a negative 11 on each side. Please remember negative 11 over negative 11 is positive 1. 1 times x simplifies to x. Negative 11 divided by negative 11 is positive 1. And now because we have an x value of 1, I will substitute 1 in for x either in the top equation or in the bottom equation. But you probably know I'm going to go to the top equation just because the equation that we start with when we're substituting is often the equation where you want to end up with. So I'm going to take this whole equation, I'm just going to move it over here. And I have y is equal to negative 7, parentheses. I'll remove the x, and in its place, I will put 1 because x equals 1, and then finish the rest of the equation. So I have negative 7 times 1 plus 10. According to our order of operations, we multiply negative 7 and 1, so that's going to simplify to negative 7 plus 10. And then y is equal to negative 7 plus 10, and negative 7 plus 10 is 3. So we have our ordered pair. I'll have 1 comma 3, and we'll be sure to box that. And then just a quick reminder, you could always check that by substituting it back into both equations. But I'm going to let delta math do the checking for me because it does. Hopefully you found this review helpful.